Now, the foreign ministry negotiated for the deportation of Jews outside the Reich. The six largest of 30 death camps were all in Poland, situated along rail lines for easy access. On Hitler's personal orders, German railways gave priority to transporting Jews to the camps, even holding up military supplies badly needed on the Eastern Front. Everybody was scared because we didn't know what's going to happen. Where did they take us? There was no water to wash. There was no toilet facilities. They shaved our heads. And my mother was standing next to me. And when I looked at her, I didn't recognize her. She, she looked like an animal. And she looked at me, and I could see in her eyes, you know, the pain seeing me. And then that's when we lost everything, really. Our pride, just everything. And we became practically animals fighting for our life. One day, they ordered us for showers. They marched us in the room where we got undressed completely naked. Then they took us in that room with the holes in the ceiling. So they told us to sit on the floor. There was no window. There was no air. So we started to first cough and then choke and then I don't know how long we were in, minutes or hours, I don't know. But then they started yelling um, out, everybody out. Now what happened, I say, is a miracle. Because that day, they had mechanical trouble. They could not let the gas through. The gas chambers of Auschwitz rarely failed. Through vents in the ceiling, the SS dropped in pellets of an insecticide called Zyklon B. The lethal gas released from the pellets caused death in 15 minutes. After the poisonous air was pumped out, other prisoners were made to untangle the corpses. As many as 6,000 people could be killed in a single day.